everybody, it's Ramona, welcome back. Welcome to the sick house. If you can tell, my voice is not totally back to normal yet. I have been really sick with a sinus infection. I'm on antibiotics. I completely lost my voice a couple of days ago. I was feeling horrid. Starting to feel a little bit better. My voice isn't back to normal yet, but I've got to want to empty these baskets so that when I'm feeling better I can start filling them again. So I have my downstairs basket and my upstairs basket which I haven't melted or I haven't emptied in a, quite a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there probably will be some weird noises as you can tell. But anyway, I'm not looking great. I don't feel great, but let's let's just move on. So, let's start with candles. One of my favorite candles are these shimmer candles from Root. This one is in Candy Cane, I believe is the name of it. Yes, it is. It's from I got some last year. I picked up a couple more this year. They are really, really beautiful when they burn. Um, the in the inside is kind of is like a foil line, sort of like uh, um, um, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's the illness I can't remember, but anyway, <coughs> minimal soot uh, burned all the way down. That's just me. Sometimes I don't dump the the um. Mushroom tops. It's just me. It doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, no burned. Burned all the way down. Self-extinguished. A little bit of clean on the sides. Minimal, minimal. Love, love, love these uh, shimmer candles. Um, and then I had uh, a half of a candle, Mainstays Mulled Cider from the fall. I really love mulled cider. This is one of my favorite Walmart scents um, that they make. And it's burned again it did have a little bit of sooting I have to give you that but it burned all the way down self-extinguished no problem I love these candles um, on the last burn though you can see that one of those wicks really traveled very far so it was time for it to be done anyway uh, and I did melt one candle last week it was mainstays uh, coconut lime right there and uh, so that's just one of the three wick uh, mainstays candles these burn really good for me, but they also melt really good. So I melted it um, into just a little mini muffin pan. I have melt, I have molds, but this was just easy, so I did it with that. And this, as I said, was one of those little short three wick candles, but this is really nice. So probably I'm gonna get a large jar of this. Either large, this was like three dollars and thirty-three cents, and I think the large jars were five dollars and sixty-seven cents. I think. So I possibly will get another one of those um, and melt that candle because I really enjoyed it. Um, not much else here this week because, like I said, I've not been melting this last week or so. Not too much anyway. Not, as, not what I usually do. Um, I melted a blackberry cashmere, which I really did enjoy. Um, I melted them together, the blackberry cider and the cashmere vanilla, and it just gave a really nice vanilla blackberry. Um, this was gifted to me... I was gonna say it was from Canada Kim, but it, though it says it's made in the USA, so maybe I bought it. I'm not sure. Oh, well, imported from Canada, from Calgary. So this is one from Canada Kim. So thank you, and I really did enjoy that one. Um, what else? Uh, okay. I melted some blackberry tea leaf the other night. The funny thing is, I don't like this as much now as I did when I got it. I'm not sure. It, Sometimes, it does it now, but when I was melting it, I, it was kind of perfumey blackberry, which I don't love. Um, and I originally bought two and I exchanged one. I'm kind of glad I exchanged the other one because I like it. I don't love it as much as I did when I bought it. Um, let's see. Next week, Scentsy Saturday, will be Whiteout and Very Merry Cranberry. I filmed that the other day, so I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, Iridescent was this week's um, Walmart Wax Wednesday. I really like this one. I know I like, no. I liked this one. I didn't really like it. I didn't really hate it. It was kind of in the middle. Sparkling Peppermint and Vanilla Woods. And, sorry, not Peppermint, Spearmint. It was okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but I didn't hate it. And then, what else? The final thing I have was just the ones that I did for, um, Wax Wars. The Donut, uh, Wax Off, I guess. And I melted gingerbread donut from Scentsy. I liked it. I liked it a lot. But it wasn't donut to me. It was more gingerbread to me. But I did like it. Uh, sugar, crumb, sugar pumpkin cronuts was good. It was heavy on the cinnamon. Like 
to me, those look so great. I could probably eat like a dozen of them, really. I couldn't, but I could try. Um, but um, it was really heavy cinnamon to me. Uh, the winner was Sensational Cider House Donuts. Those look so, so good. Very donut-y scent. Very, very donut. And a close second was Bath & Body Works Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. That was a candle that I chopped. I really enjoy that one. So that's all I have in my downstairs uh, basket. Uh, not much considering um, that some of them, uh, like the donut ones I melted like, I don't know, two weeks ago or so. Just I'm just now catching up. Okay. Yeah, there. Okay, so upstairs. I haven't done an upstairs empty in quite some time. So this is probably, I don't know, six weeks worth, maybe something like that. Um, I have not even organized them yet. It's bad, bad me. Um, <clears throat> but let's just, I guess, get going. Maybe get some clams. Okay, so I'm and upstairs I have one, two, three full-size warmers and one wall wall unit in my bathroom. The other bathroom doesn't have all my stuff on it, so it can fit a large warmer. This is from Goose Creek, which I purchased last May. Dark rum and toasted pecan. This is so, so good. Um, I love this. Unfortunately, it never came back again, nor did it come back in a candle. I definitely would purchase it in a candle form. What I didn't like about it is it came in these funny little beads. And um, once you open the package, you can't reseal it. So I divided it into two warmers at the same time. It's very warm, rummy, and that warmth of the pecan. It's so good. Oh my gosh, I would purchase this again in a minute. I loved it so much. Uh, Beach Night Type from Sassy Girl Aroma. This was gifted to me from Teresa, I believe. A warm blend of toasted marshmallows, sea salt breeze, and s'mores. And I really enjoyed this one as well. I don't know why I'm smelling this. Yeah, I can't smell. So I'm not going to open any of those. Uh, Silver Bells. This has been, um, I had several of these. And I think, I was going to say, I think it was, it was a Scentsy Saturday, a few Scentsy, a, a few Saturdays ago, I think, last month maybe. Anyway, Silver Bells was really nice. I like that as well. Better Homes and Gardens Blueberry Bun Cake. If you like blueberry, if you like bakery, this is really, really good. Um, it came out in a big rush, like last summer, I guess it was, I think. Um, and everybody was all over it. And I did end up finding some, and then it went away. But then I saw it again in the fall, so you still may be able to get your hands on it. Blueberry Bundt Cake. Um, marshmallow Candy Cane, which from last winter from Better Homes and Gardens. This I really, really like. It's just vanilla candy cane marshmallow candy cane it's really good the throw is really good as well like seven seven and a half out of ten it's good and uh red current poinsettia this also was gifted to me from teresa uh, because my walmart's like the three or four in my area did not get winter wax this year and i don't understand it because now they all have spring wax so it's so weird i don't know why they just skipped over winter. But anyway, thank you, Teresa. And I really, really like this one. If I recall, it was like a very uh, tart berry with a little bit of the like floral poinsettia note. It was very good. I really enjoyed that one. <coughs> Pardon me. And Mainstay's Blue Hyacinth. This is really good. If you like florals, um, you're going to love this one. It is so strong. This little Mainstay's is throws like an 8, 8.5 out of 10. It is so yummy good it's just a light hyacinth floral it's beautiful i love it i would repurchase that one okay let's see what else we have in here okay i've got some little um little shots uh let's do this one first what is this this is cupcakes at tiffany's um vanilla cupcake buttery toffee chocolate and buttercream this one was okay it didn't blow me away I don't know if it was just the brand or the scent um, I think I might have had a cupcakes at Tiffany's one other time and I don't recall it being a standout in my mind because obviously I have not ordered more of it but that was I think that was a gift and thank you for that um, and then these little uh, ones are from um, 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 they are from I'm having a brain fart. I'm having a brain fart. Uh, are these from Sweet Sage Scents? I think they are. Uh, Adam, 
from Adam's Wax World gifted me, because he, he said, you have to try Sweet Sage Scents. I said, oh, I've never tried it. He said, okay, we're gonna send you some. So he sent me some plus some. So these were in Adam's uh, box. And actually, the, that little blue swirly business there, that seems to me like it's not, it's, um, oh my gosh, not Destination Wax. Um, but it starts with a D. I'm not on my game today, but you know, I know you guys know that label. Uh, um, Black Sea Fresh Bamboo. This was in the guest bathroom. Really, really enjoyed it. Kind of just fresh, seaside, aquatic. It was really, really nice. Um, stainless Steel was in the guest bath. This was kind of like a nice, fresh cologne scent. I also enjoyed this one as well. I'm trying to figure out, I'm losing my mind. <sighs> right on the tip of my tongue. It's not Destination Wax, it's da 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 da. You guys will tell me, I know. Um, strawberry Lavender Apricot Autumn Rain. This was okay, it was a little bit muddled for me. Sometimes if things have too many scents, my nose just can't interpret it, interpret all those scents together. This was a little bit muddled. It was kind of like a fruity, fresh, I guess. It was okay, not one of my favorites. Um, frosted Sugar Cookies Blackberry Coconut Filling. This, however, was really good. I really, really enjoyed this one. Anything with blackberry, most things with blackberry I like, and sugar cookies I like together. Okay, also from Adam, Sweet Sage Scents Candy Cane. That was really good. Um, and I had that in my guest bedroom, and it filled the room quite nicely. Um, Ripple from Sweet Sage Scents, which is Wildberry Mousse, Buttercream Cupcake, and Zucchini Bread. This I really enjoyed because the zucchini bread was kind of the predominant note, and I do love zucchini bread, so I did like that one. And Brown Sugar Sweet Pumpkin Zucchini Bread, also loved this one as well. Really, really good. Um, and here's another Sweet Sage Scents. Sweet Sage, Sweet Sage. All these Sweet Sage Scents are from Adam. I think that's it. Okay. Um, Cassidy, which is apple harvest, blueberry cheesecake, and zucchini bread. Same thing. This vendor, Sweet Sage Scents, it, to me in my nose, the zucchini bread seems to overtake a little bit the other scents, which for me, I like zucchini bread, it's fine. If you're not a lover of zucchini bread, you might not appreciate that. But while I do get the other scents, the zucchini bread is the scent that comes forward for me. Uh, grasshopper pie, wake up, creamy peppermint, vanilla, bitter chocolate, coffee beans, caramel, and vanilla cream. This is another one. It sounds really good to me on description, but it did get a little muddled uh, to me. I think I recall getting just like a caramely coffee note for that one. Dream on, which is lavender, peppermint fluff, and vanilla bean Noel. This one I melted in my bedroom, and it was really nice. I really enjoyed that one. And this one I also really, really loved, also from Sweet Sage Scents, Orange glazed cinnamon buns, and this was so yummy. It was bakery, it was orange, it was glazy, it was yummy. It just wanted you to have like an orange glazed cinnamon bun. So, so good. So good. Okay. Um, BWC is uh, Barrett's Wax Crafts, I believe, although I've not ordered from Barrett's. And this is Avo Spa, a delightful blend of lemongrass and sweet citrus nectar layered over fresh light musk. This I also really enjoyed. This is another one that I had in my bedroom. I really like that one a lot because I love lemongrass. I love lemongrass scents. They're just, they're very bright and zippy and, you know, lemongrassy. Citrus Lemon, le sorry, Citrus Linen H2O from the Smell Good Shop. Um, this... I was really looking forward to I love citrus, I love linen. And I was hoping this would be a little stronger. It was, it was a little light. It was maybe like a five out of 10 and I just had it in my, you know, my guest bedroom so it's not a big space at all. But it was, I, I, enjoy, I would have enjoyed it more had it been stronger, it was a little light. Okay, almost done. Destination Wax, Winter's Eve. A winter evening curled up by a crackling fireplace balsam cedar and wood smoke this was good um, let's see if I can smell anything I can I can't remember oh yeah okay I can smell I can smell that okay this definitely I definitely when I'm smelling it just now and I can barely smell so it was strong 
I got the wood smoke first, and then it was like a, a tree scent after that. So, um, was it balsam or cedar? I can't really tell. Like, you know, I said, like, I'm like nose dumb, I guess, when it comes to Christmas trees or trees in any kind. But I did like it. All right, let's see what we got for all the same. Okay, um, from Super Tarts, last year's um, Advent box, Spice Cookies, Toffee, and Apple. It was good. It was, wasn't great, not memorable. It was okay. Uh, from L3 Waxy Wonders, Rainstorm Chaparral. This was gifted to me as well. This one I remember is good. It was just kind of like an aquatic, yeah, I can't smell it, aquatic, something or other rainstorm fresh rain water it was good uh from rainbow melts cafe gelato which is espresso ice cream sweet waffle cone and butter brickle really really good loved it also from rainbow melts beach bonfire sea salt bonfire bliss and marshmallow loved it love rainbow melts i did order two of the samplers before i went on my no buy one was the laundry sampler, and the other one was the lemon sampler, I believe. And I also ordered from Destination Wax last week. Um, and now I'm on a no-buy. And she can do it. She can do it. Okay, from VCS is Beehive, which is lemon coconut cream butter cake zucchini bread. Love this one. Love lemon. Love, you know, a cream cake. And love zucchini bread so that was all of these were right up my alley loved it also from vintage chic Sweeney's barbershop I finished I did some downstairs and some upstairs this was from 2017 Sweeney's is shaving cream and mint strawberries so that was really good that's a dead soldier and finally also from VCS is public enemy number one which is peppermint coconut whipped cream I really enjoyed that one I had that in my bedroom uh, as well so that's it for this episode of Wax Empties. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Stay warm. The problem with Houston is it's warm for a couple days and then it drops again like Wednesday. I had the windows open. It was sunny. There was a breeze, a cross breeze. It was in the mid-70s. By the time I went to bed that night, it was down to 40. It's just like that. Boom. Temperature drops and you get sick or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I'm sick. So anyway, stay healthy and well, and I will see you soon. Bye.